Hello again, brethren, sisters. This video I'm going to be answering a question, Lord willing, about the mark of the beast. When will the mark of the beast come into play? Well, for that, uh, first of all, get your authorized version of the scriptures, the King James scriptures, the true and real scriptures. Let's first establish one thing, okay? Turn into the scriptures to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Okay? 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Very familiar verses unto all of you. This ought to be. But if you're new to this channel and um, are not saved, not of the Church of the Living God, <coughs> um, this is something that um, you, you need to consider. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. We will be reading verses 3 on to verse 12. We, we've been through this before, but this is important to establish this, okay? 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 on to verse 12. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition, the Antichrist, okay? Who is going to be of Jewish descent, okay? The falling away. Uh, falling away, literally, <clears throat> falling away from a standing position. I truly believe that the falling away here is more in context and reference onto those who say they are of the Church of the Living God, but are not. Okay? Those of the Church of the Living God can fall away and get into error, but see, here's the thing. You have the Holy Ghost within you. You are sealed until the day of redemption. And if the Lord doesn't hand you over to that, that your flesh may be destroyed, that the spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus, um, he's going to be screaming at you. But we are seeing so many people who call themselves Christians compromising making friends with the world. Those who said they were of us, but they went out from us to show that they were never of us. Okay? Let's continue. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, shewing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was with was at. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work; only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Who's the he who now letteth? The Holy Ghost. And he is, uh, and who is until he be taken out of the way? The body of Christ. Because, guess what? The Holy Ghost, the Lord is that spirit, is omnipresent. Okay? He's not going anywhere. Alright? He's always present. So, until he be taken out of the way, that's the body of Christ, the church of the living God, being resurrected, caught up. Okay? You might have heard it falsely so called as the rapture. It's not the rapture. Rapture is not found in the scriptures. Catching away the resurrection is, but not the rapture. Okay? Verse 8. And then shall that wicked, capital W, be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Um, talking about the second coming. So after the church of the living God is resurrected, caught up, then that wicked, then and then shall that wicked be revealed. Okay, after we, church of the living God, are caught up, 
then the Antichrist will be revealed. Okay? That's very important to note when considering this. Verse 9, Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and sign and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. <coughs> so, Right now, the economies of the world are being decimated by this fictitious coronavirus po uh, propaganda, okay? Here in America, the lockdowns are coming very quickly back again. The second wave is going to happen very, very soon. I was informed by a brother that in North Dakota, it is state law now that even outside you got to wear a, <laughs> okay? It's coming here to America. It's probably maybe already going on in your nation at the moment, okay? The economies of the world have to be devastated, okay? For the mark of the beast system to come in. We are very close. But see, there's something that we here in America have to remember, okay? The world does not revolve around America. No. The world does not revolve around Europe, around Canada, around Australia, okay? If there is any place on God's flat earth that the world revolves around it's, it's Israel it's Jerusalem we here in America we have to remember that we are not the epicenter the centerpiece of this world it's Jerusalem it's Israel okay that's very important to note but now go to Revelation chap uh, go to Revelation okay go to the book of Revelation now, in the book of Revelation, chapter 4, we see the catching away. Our Lord describes seven types of churches, people, bodies, not buildings, okay? These also can be equated to seven types of people, persons, spirit, soul, and body, okay? There is more than one application onto the seven churches described here in the book of Revelation, chapters, um, chapters 2 and 3. There is more than one application onto it. These can also be equated onto certain types of people, spirit, soul, and body. Okay? They can. But we see in Revelation chapter 4, the resurrection. Prove it to you. Okay. Revela uh, Revelation chapter 4, verse 1. Okay. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which, heard, which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will shew thee things which must be hereafter. So right there, Revelation chapter 4, there's the catching away. There's the resurrection. Okay? That is when we, Church of the Living God, the body of Christ, get taken out of the way. Okay? But now go to Revelation chapter 6. Revelation chapter 6. Revelation chapter 6. Beginning at verse 1. And I, and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, 
And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. Who opens the seals? The Lamb, our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father. Okay? And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown, a singular crown, was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. Okay? He went forth conquering and to conquer. This is the son of perdition, the Antichrist. Hold your place here and go to Revelation chapter 19. Okay? Revelation chapter 19. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 19. Alrighty. Revelation chapter 19, verses 11 on to verse 16. Now here in Revelation chapter 6, verse 2, And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown, singular crown, was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer. Also he had a bow. Okay? Revelation 19, verses 11 on to verse, six, uh, verse 17. Okay? And I saw heaven open, and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. And his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. Not a singular crown. Many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the capital W Word of God. This is the Lord Jesus Christ, second coming, okay? And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. That's you and me, of the church of the living God. We are resurrected, and we come back down with him at his second coming as his armies, okay? And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, and with it that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Okay? And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And look at this. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written. King of kings and Lord of lords. The Lord, this is the Lord Jesus Christ. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying, To all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great God. Okay? So, that's the second coming. That is the Lord Jesus Christ in Revelation chapter 19, verses 11 on to verse 17. The Antichrist here in uh, Revelation chapter 6 is described in verse 2. Okay? That's the Antichrist that goes out, conquering and to conquer. But let's continue on to verse 4. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard a second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. To take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Who takes peace from the earth? Who opens the seals? The Lord Jesus Christ. Who takes peace from the earth? The Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Now note, okay, Revelation chapter 4. It's the catching away. Here in Revelation chapter 6, the Antichrist is revealed. Okay? Now, whether or not it happens instantaneously, I don't know. I don't know. But, note this. 
in verse 2, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Now, obviously, he's not going to go forth conquering and to conquer the church of the living God, because the church of the living God is caught up, taken out of the way. Okay? He that now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. That's the church of the living God, the body of Christ. Okay? So the Antichrist is not going to be going after the truly saved church of the living God. And these twits, these easy believism heretics who get left behind, they're just going to fall in line and bow down to the Antichrist. Because it's just believe. Okay? It's, it's faith alone uh, during the time of uh, the uh, time of Jacob's trouble. It's just believe. Okay? You can take the mark. Oh, sure. Cut your hand off. Or cut your hand off. Excuse me. Gouge it out of your forehead. It's just believe. Nutty nonsense. They're telling you that so that after we, the Church of the Living God, are resurrected, these people are telling you that so that when you're left behind, you'll take the mark of the beast. We, the Church of the Living God, are warning you. Get saved now. Because once we're caught up, something is going to change around here. The likes of which this world has never seen. Let's continue, though. And when he had opened the third seal, well, uh, I, heard a th I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth, to kill with the sword, and with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. Now look at that. <clears throat> look at that. To kill with the sword, with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. War with the sword. Hunger, food supplies are going to go out. Death, may be attributed to pestilence, okay? This is all after the Antichrist has been revealed and he goes forth conquering and to conquer. Who is he going forth to conquer? I truly believe he's going to be going after the sons of Ishmael, the Muslims, because Catholicism is going to make a, a league with the Jews, Israel. And they're going to go forth uh, to, and the Antichrist is going to go forth to conquer the common enemy who are going to be the Muslims at that time. That's what I personally believe. It's not going to be these easy believism heretics after we are uh, resurrected. It's like, we're still here. Just believe. Just believe. Repentance is going from unbelief to belief. Yes. Yes, don't call on the name of the Lord. Your life isn't going to, it doesn't have to change. That's up to you. You can go ahead and live like you want to. No big deal. It, those guys, no. Those guys <laughs> and all those leaders, like I said, are in the pocket of the Vatican. And all these guys here on YouTube are answering to somebody, a provincial. And, uh, Hey, you guys, I'm not talking to you, Church of the Living God. I'm talking to you, coadjutors. I truly believe I know who your, at least one of your provincials is. I don't think it's Feniger. And I no longer think it's uh, Martin Richling. I am convinced 
It is a specific person from the United Kingdom. And not the little rabbit attack poodle either. Not him. No, 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 no. No, no. That guy can't control himself. Uh, he, he, he could never be a provincial of any kind. Never. Never. But I do believe I know who the provincial is. And I can guarantee you one thing. If the Lord reveals to me evidence and proof I'm going to name this provincial. I'm going to go right at him, Lord willing. Let's continue, though, okay? Like I said, I believe that they're going to, uh, that the Antichrist is going to go forth conquering and to conquer the Muslims. That they're going that the Antichrist is going to promise to the Jews. The third temple, okay, which could be built just like that. They have all the preparations already there. They could have that thing built in no time at all, okay? But that's what I believe, that they're going, that the Antichrist is going to go after the sons of Ishmael. And in that wake of going forth conquering and to conquer, okay, look at verse 8. To kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. Okay? The earth is going to be ravished. Absolutely ravished. Upon especially the Antichrist going forth conquering and to conquer. Okay? Let's continue. And when he had opened the fifth seal... I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should, re that they should rest yet for a little season, until their fellow servants also, and their brethren that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled. And I beheld, when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Now, y'all heard of that John Hagee twit, the four blood moons, right, uh, pointing to this? This is when the Antichrist goes forth conquering and to conquer. We are resurrected. We are caught up. Okay? This happens during the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? Okay? Let's continue. And the stars of heaven fell onto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Okay? So, it's going to be a lot of chaos once the Antichrist is revealed. Okay? Quite. Quite a bit of chaos. But see, before that time, before that time, while the body of Christ, the church of the living God, is still on the earth, we know that the mark of the beast is not going to be revealed while, or be put into play, excuse me, 
We know that the mark of the beast is not going to be put into play while the church of the living God is on the earth presently. We know that. That happens after we are taken up. But is it going to happen right away, like instantly? I have said before that, yes, I do believe that is truth. But upon searching this matter, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I do not think so. Ultimately, friends, Church of the Living God, ultimately, now we do not know. We'll know once we're up there with our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, after we are resurrected, we'll know then. But right now, we don't truly know when precisely it is going to come into play. We do know that it is. We do know that it is. But when the Antichrist goes forth conquering and to conquer, look at that. Look, look, look at it. Okay, and we were, and if we were to continue reading, nothing but judgments, devastations, earthquakes, famines, pestilences. You know, the the, the waters are made poisonous with wormwood. A third of the trees die. Stuff like that. Okay, massive. Massive devastation is going to be coming upon this earth during this time period. <laughs> and these wicked, easy believism heretics during that time just believe. <laughs> you got to provide for your own. That's what I had. Take, take the mark of the beast. Yeah, because remember, it says you're sealed until the day of redemption. And these guys claim to be dispensational. <laughs> oh, people, the ignorance of God's word is Satan's greatest weapon. Okay? My goodness gracious. But now, let's go to Revelation chapter 13. Revelation chapter 13. Now, you with the Church of the Living God, you know this. This is uh, being made to answer a question, but for those of you who may not know, who are not saved, who come here um, looking, uh, having questions, and are curious about this, okay? I have to remember that there, brethren, sisters, that there are people who are not saved to watch me. Besides the, the heretics. They, they don't count. Y'all don't count, you heretics. But, Revelation chapter 13. Revelation chapter 13. Verses 16 on to verse 18. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six. Six six six. Which equates to in I believe it is ancient Hebrew or ancient Greek WWW World Wide Web. Okay? The number of the beast. WWW. And it's going to be in the right hand or in the forehead. Okay? What happens if you take this mark? Okay? What happens if you take this mark? Revelation chapter 14. Revelation chapter 14, verses 8 on to verse 12. 
And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Okay? And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and who so ever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Whosoever your belief only during the time of Jacob's trouble, which these uh, Jesuit coadjutors these easy believers and heretics are pumping onto you. They're getting you ready to take the mark of the beast. Because it's just believe. They claim to be dispensational. You're eternally secure because of your belief. In this dispensation, you come to the Lord Jesus Christ broken and contrite, you believe on what he has done, call on, him, call on his name, okay, you'll be saved. Okay? You are saved by grace through faith. But they say that you're saved by belief only with no repentance. Repentance to them is going from unbelief to belief. And you don't call on the name of the Lord. They're going to be telling you that during the time of Jacob's trouble. The point, you're, you're eternally secure. Yeah. You're not eternally secure during the time of Jacob's trouble, my friend. You take the mark of the beast, you're going to hell. No ifs, ands, or buts. You're not going to cut your hand off or gouge it out of your forehead. No. You take that mark, you're going to hell. But here's the thing. The technology right now is there for the mark of the beast absolutely every even the heretics would it would confess yeah yeah the technology is there for the mark of the beast system to be implemented absolutely absolutely the economies have to be destroyed yes the question is will all the economies be destroyed before we are caught up Another thing to consider is, okay, let's say you and I are caught up right now. Right now. Okay? There are still, still trying to convince people, trying to impress upon them to take the mark, if it were right now, immediately? No, I don't think so. I, I, I truly do not think so. I do not think so. I have said before in the past that I do believe that we get caught up and immediately the mark of the beast comes in. Um, upon searching it, I, I don't believe that's accurate. Because the Antichrist is going to go forth conquering and to conquer. And as we have seen, the earth is just going to be ravished, decimated. Okay? And in that decimation, in that decimation, everything will everything is just going to be virtually destroyed because of that. For uh, the Antichrist going forth, conquering and to conquer, and then we we know at some point that the third temple is going to be built, which will be able to be built rapidly. Okay, I believe that. Um, um, 
I believe, personally, I don't think that the Mark of the Beast is going to be implemented immediately. I do believe that it's going to be happening after, after the Antichrist goes forth conquering and to conquer. And in his con going forth conquering and to conquer, in all that decimation, then that will be the perfect time for the Mark of the Beast to be implemented. Uh, like I said, I am open to discussion with the brethren on that. Um, I am, but I, um, I think, I think, I, I believe that, is it going to be midway? I don't know. But the one thing I do know for certain, uh, that, I, that I do believe for certain, it's not going to be, we're caught up and then immediately Mark of the Beast comes in. That I, uh, that I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be instantaneous. I think that once the Antichrist goes forth, conquering and to conquer, and in the wake of that devastation is when the Mark of the Beast system will be fully implemented. That is what I believe. That, does that mean that it's going to be halfway through the time of Jacob's trouble? I don't know. And that's the thing, brethren. We today, the Church of the Living God, we don't truly know. Number one, we're not going to be here. Okay? Number one, that's we're, we're not going to be here. And uh, number two, like I said, we just we just don't know. We just don't truly know when it's going to happen precisely. Like when the catching away is going to happen. We can um, we can we can surmise. We can hope. We can find things that we think point to an exact date. But the one thing too, brethren, you have to remember, look at what happens every single time someone has set a date for the catching away. Every single time. Now granted, uh, a lot of the people who set are date setters, <laughs> they're not of the Church of the Living God to begin with. <laughs> granted. But what happens every single time that a date is given? It is as if our Lord purposely, it's like, oh, you think so, don't you? Hence with the uh, Mark of the Beast. We don't truly know when precisely it's going to come into play. We know it's not going to happen while the body of Christ is on the earth. That we know. We do know that it's going to happen after we are resurrected. We do know that it's going to be implemented when, beg your pardon, excuse me. We do know that it's going to be implemented sometime after the man of sin, that wicked one, is revealed after we're resurrected. That we do know. That we do know. That is why, if you are not truly saved and born again, man, you need, to, you need to get saved right now. Because I'm going to tell you something. I doubt you're going to make it. There will be some who make it through the time of Jacob's trouble, yes. Oh yes, there will be. Very few. Very few. But if you take that mark, you're doomed, you're damned, you're going to hell. No ifs, ands, and buts. Get saved now. Get saved now. And on to the beloved brother who asked me this question. Sorry it took so long, brother. Um, I'm going to be honest. I, I do not know... Uh, when the Mark of the Beast is going to be implemented. I will say to you, brother, I do not believe it's going to be immediately. Uh, midway through the time of Jacob's trouble, 
I don't know. I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. We do know that when he goes forth conquering and to conquer, somewhere in that time period, the third temple is going to be built, and then sometime during that, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, he's going to declare himself God and go into the temple saying, I am God. Then he's going to get wounded. And who can who can make war with the beast? Okay? So, that is how I would answer that. Um, immediately, no. I do, I do not believe it's going to be immediately. Midway through the time of Jacob's trouble? I'm sorry, beloved. I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. What we do know, it's not going to come to pass while the body of Christ is on the earth at the present. The technology is there to implement it. Yes. Yes. But more things have to be devastated before all the world is ready to take the mark of the beast. It's all there. It's all there. All that has to happen is that we get resurrected. And then after that, like I said, the Antichrist going forth conquering and to conquer in that wake. But is it going to be come up hither, mark of the beast? I No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, see, I'm, I'm not prideful to change my position upon searching the scriptures. Okay? I have said before that I think it's going to be immediate. I... I don't I don't think that no I do not think that anymore on searching the scriptures I really don't but that is how I would answer that question for you brother and um, again thank you so much for watching this if you do thank you we love you we are praying for so many of you and we will see you in the next video